Welcome to section 4.2.3. The title of this section is using an area model. And an area model is basically where we draw things out. For example, if I look at a shape that is three tall and four wide, I can say that multiplication of them, 3 times 4, will give me the area. And so area is another way to kind of look at multiplication. The multiplication of the two numbers, 3 and 4, gives me an area of 12, where these are the factors, and this is the, the area, or the product. Now. This unit, I'm not sure how much of it we will make into this video, but I want to just basically think about some of the ideas. An area model works really well when I'm kind of putting together two ideas. In the first question, the ideas that they brought together were people who could bend their thumb backwards, and I can't do that, so I can't really show you, but they do have a, a picture here of a person bending their thumb, and these people are people who can bend it back here at their joint, and people who can roll their tongues. And to start with in this area model, we said they said, well, here's what we're going to assume. About half of the people can bend their thumbs, and half can't. Half of the people can roll their tongue, and half can't. I would like you to think about what each of these sections is going to represent. Okay, This box right here represents people who can bend their thumbs and roll their tongue. Okay, This one's going to represent people who can um, just roll their tongue. because it says they're in the no column for bending their thumb. This box, they can bend their thumb, but they can't roll their tongue. So this is going to be just bend thumb. Now if you do this as you're making these, it is going to help you immensely. Um, and these are people that can't bend their thumb and they can't roll their tongue. So this is basically can't do either. Now, that gets us kind of the idea of what the sections represent, but we also want to look at how we calculate it. So this is a pretty straightforward and kind of easy problem to do. The way we find their probabilities in an area model is the same way we would find the area of this square if this was a half by a half. So I'm going to do one half times one half and I'm going to get that the probability for this one is one-fourth. This one's going to be one-half times one-half, so its probability is one-fourth. It's one-half times one-half, it's one-fourth. And one-half times one-half, this one is one-fourth. They're the same because all of the probabilities are fairly much equal. You have a half and half here and a half and half there. Now, this is a little bit more of a generic version because um, we, we don't have any really variance. So they asked us some questions and, for example, um, well, we're not going to talk about that, but what would be the probability that they could just do one of them? Okay, well, this is just doing one of them. And this is just doing one of them. So the probability that they could just do one would be one-fourth plus one-fourth or a half. What's the probability that they could just bend their thumbs or roll their tongue? And or just bend their thumbs would be one-fourth. That they can't do either would be one-fourth. Okay. In the next one, they said, well, let's make our area model fit what we actually have seen in data. And in the data, we saw that one-fourth of the country the people surveyed could, which means that three-fourths can't. Remember this, these have to add up to one, and these have to add up to one, or this 100% 
and that 100%. Now, if we do this um, the way that they have given us, one fourth, I've roughly marked about a fourth of it off and three fourths off. So we actually get a visual of what the area is going to look like. Then they also tell us that in actuality it says it turns out that a majority, about seven tenths of the population, can roll their tongues. So this is going to be seven tenths. Well, what does that mean my no section is going to be? It has to add up to one, so that means that it would be three tenths, because that's what gives me ten tenths. I've already kind of split it up kind of close to that. I put some marks here so I'd be ready, but if not, you would just kind of estimate. And that is about a seven-tenths, three-tenths split going this way. Let's find and let's think about what this meant again. Same thing. They can do both. They can only bend, they can only roll their tongue. They can't do either. And this one, they can only bend their thumbs. Let's see, seven tenths times one fourth is going to be seven fortieths. Okay, seven tenths times three fourths is going to be twenty one fortieths, and three tenths times one fourth is going to be three fortieths, and three tenths times three-fourths is going to be nine-fortieths. Let's check really quick. Seven, that's twenty-eight. Thirty-one, forty. So adding these up, I get four-fortieths, and so I've got them all accounted for. It's real easy to see which group is the biggest. The people who can roll their tongues but can't bend their thumbs is the largest group, and the group that can just bend their thumbs is the smallest group. So this is not as generic. This is basically a full area model where I actually make the size of the square roughly representative of their their probabilities. Okay. Now, the next question they gave us um, some with very with some different kinds of numbers in it, and this is the probabilities. And they said we we have two Navajos, uh, the, and not, what are the chances? of a Navajo person having O-type blood and A-type blood. This one was 73 out of 100, or 0.73, also known as 73%. This one's 27 out of 100, or 0.27. I'm going to use the decimal values just to um, fill this in. Let's uh, see if we can do this. This is both O. This is a O and A. This is an O and A. And this is both A. Now let's see what we get when we do the multiplication. Okay, 73 out of 100 times 73 out of 100. 73 times 73 divide that by 100 and I'm going to get um, 53.29 okay this one's going to be 73 out of 100 times 27 out of 100 oh I made a mistake divided by 100 times 100 is 0 0.1971. 0 0.1971. This is actually going to be 0.5329. Okay. Um, this one is going to be the same as that one because they're the same numbers being multiplied. So 0 0.1971. And this one is going to be 27 times 27 divided by... 0 0.0729, 0 0.0729. Now, don't have a lot of time, but if I asked you a question like, who has both O, what's the chances of them both having O and A, you would add these two sections together. Just O, just A. That's it.